Hello everyone, my name is Magic the Wheat Clegane, and today I'm back with another video for my What Is series. The game we're looking at today goes by the name of So what is Super Hot? Super Hot is an indie first person shooter with some super unusual game mechanics. It was originally made for the 2013 7 day FPS challenge and from there it went on to Kickstarter where it gained its funding to become a full standalone game. And I was following it since some web browser based demos and it got my attention because of the incredible game mechanics which is that the time, and so like every object in the game, only moves when you move. That means that the game has that puzzle element to it and you have to think through your every move to not get hit by the enemy fire bullets or maybe even some melee attacks and you have to look through your immediate environment to find some weapons and in the campaign mode simply kill up the red people which are your enemies so this is proven to not always be an easy task and there might be multiple enemies armed with pistols, shotguns and even some assault rifles and as I mentioned earlier, some uh, melee weapons like katanas, baseball bats, and even like hammers and some odd weapons. So this high amount of weapons available means that you sometimes have to navigate between like fired bullets and just dodge the enemy attacks in a matrix-esque style. So you are even able to like shoot down the bullets with your own gun. Or maybe even like chop them down with a katana and block them with a baseball bat and such. So, I will admit that I absolutely adore the gameplay mechanics, but would I say that the game is worth 25 US dollars or 18 pounds sterling? Uh, in my opinion, despite of it being a great game, I think that you should wait just a little bit longer until the inevitable price drop. Let me explain why as we go through this video. As I mentioned earlier, it has an incredible bullet time mechanics and you can do all of these amazing things in really any way that you desire as there is no forced single solution to each level, but rather you will find yourself doing each thing mostly spontaneously and it will be dedicated by where the enemies spawn, what kind of weapons they have and uh, what kind of weapons you decide to pick up. But however, the game is mostly just that, over and over and over again. And don't get me wrong, but like it has different levels, different game modes and different enemies and all of that. But I thought they would add just a little bit more since that old demo, I think like two years ago. But anyway, the game modes that I mentioned includes the single player campaign mode which is totally what you would expect like some story driven levels an endless mode where you pick a level and you have to fight off as many enemies as you can and also a challenge mode where you might need to complete a given task with so some modifiers to how the game is played for example you might not be able to pick up any weapons or you might move faster and things like that now let's move on to the story, because it is a big point in this review. The campaign mode challenges you with multiple levels that you have to complete to drive the narr narrative forward. Unfortunately, it is a very short campaign. Like Most of the people reported that they have completed it in about 2 hours, and so did I. And I do not want to spoil the game, and due to how short it is, I just cannot say like anything at all really about the story and what is really in the game. I will however give super hot team credit for making the delivery of the game story so unique like they really make you feel like you are the protagonist and they use every element of the game to deliver the story rather than limiting themselves only to the in-game campaign to do so. Now for the art style. Love it or hate it, it uses ASCII art and overall a old timey look for its main menu which contains a lot of apps, demos and even some mini-games which I found quite surprising. And I can only assume that uh, some of them have easter eggs or secrets like the secret folder hidden within many other folders. You can look for it on your own. And the game itself is minimalistic to say the least. It really only uses shades of white, grey, black and red. So 
white is mostly just the environment, black is usable items like the weapons, and red represents enemies and uh, some even bullet trails and such. Like, I personally like this minimalistic style, like, it has some good points, like, it allows the game to be run great even on some older computers, and it's rather easy to spot your enemies and any incoming attacks. However, it's not perfect, like, the animations are maybe just made for the bullet time. Like, when you replay the solution to your level in real time, you will find that the animations are a bit choppy and in my experience I have even seen some clipping. And other than that, I really like the visual and audio design of Superhot, even though the audio is not usually so apparent as you really have to listen in for the attacks and, and there is no music and such things. Anyway, this is all guys. I really would like to recommend that you check out this game soon, but I recommend waiting for it just a little bit until it is a bit cheaper like it is only a 2 hour long campaign and they ask you for 25 US dollars. So when you wait a little bit longer you might just get a little bit more out of your hard earned money. And I hope that the super hot team will continue working on the game and I wish them success with it because it really is a good game with a lot of potential. Other than that, have a good day everyone and I will see you all later.